What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a great day and welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. If you are new to the channel, welcome aboard. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell so you know every time I put up a video and live stream and also check out the playlist section to help yourself navigate through the over 1300 videos. Everything is put into categories to make it easier on you. So please enjoy and let me know if you have any questions. Before we get started on the main topic, I want to tell you guys about something I'm planning on doing that has to do with a fan feature, but on a global scale. What I want to do, I want to make a video of all of your trucks with you included. So what I need you to do, if you want to be part of this video, send a picture of you with your Tundra, your name and where you're from, to td34contest at gmail.com. You will see that below me right now, td34contest at gmail.com. I want to make a giant video of all the followers, picture of their truck with them in the shot, with your name and where you're from on it. Um, I think it would be fun. I try to do that at least once a year. The only rules to this is you have to be subscribed to the channel. So make sure you hit that subscription button and send your picture and your information at td34contest at gmail.com. Now let's get to the video. We've been talking 2021 Tundra for a while now. Uh, when will they be hitting the lots? We've seen a few kind of dabble here and there, maybe a two wheel drive SR, some base model 2021s along the way have been slowly uh, coming down the pike. But today it looks like we're starting to see them all over the place. Um, a buddy of mine down at Fred Haas in Houston, which is a giant Toyota dealership, uh, sent me a picture. A 2021 Nightshade Edition has made its way to the lot. Now, if you don't know what the Nightshade Edition is, it's new for 2021. Um, it really has a lot of stuff. It's built off of a limited platform, but to me, it looks like a blacked out platinum. It has that vibe to it. Um, it, it's a really nice looking truck. It's If you like that you know, midnight black look, that is definitely the truck you're going to want to check out. But it's good to see the special editions are now starting to hit the lot. I have yet to see any trail editions or anything like that yet. But this time last week, we were talking SR two wheel drives, a couple here and there throughout the country. Now Fred Haas down in Houston has 28. Now up here where I'm at in New Jersey, there are no 2021s yet. Uh, they're still shipping in 2020s. So it really depends on where you're going to be throughout the country uh, as per what you're going to see and when you're going to see it. But obviously, Texas is going to get it first. They are built out of San Antonio, Texas. But he did show me that nightshade, and uh, that's a pretty sweet-looking truck. Now, in my opinion, if you're going for a 2021 Tundra, which will be the last year of the 5.7 liter V8, so if you're into that gorgeous engine, make sure you get over there and get yourself one. Um, but that nightshade, they might not work a great deal on because it's a special edition for 2021. Uh, but like I said, it's built off of a limited platform. So you could get yourself a limited and do a couple things here and there to it, even in the Toyota catalog, and get it very close to the look of that um, blacked out interior. Um, I believe the two colors, I might be wrong on this. Correct me in the comments below if I am. I believe it comes in black and magnetic gray are the two offerings for it. Um, it has the blacked out grill in the front, black wheels. I mean, it's your standard, you know, blacked out Tundra, but, uh, you know, Nightshade Edition and Trail Edition are the two new ones. Um, and I also saw on one of the forums earlier today that a Lunar Rock TRD Pro is uh, at a dealership right now. So that means there's probably a few out there. So they are hitting a lot. Like I said, Fred Haas has 28. I have zero up here. If any uh, salesman or dealership employees are watching and you want to let us know what your dealership has, uh, make sure you send some information and help yourself and help some of our fine viewers out in selling a truck. Don't forget, I say this all the time, if you're looking for a specific 2021 Tundra, you have some options. You could go into your dealership and you could see what kind of allocations they have. Uh, if they have anything that you like on the way, you can order one and then they will check the allocations they have coming into them uh, or <clears throat> the different, <clears throat> excuse me, the different offerings around the dealerships around them to see if they could bring in the vehicle you want Ordering is great, and you can get everything specifically the way you want it, but ordering takes times, weeks, sometimes months, depending on what you want. If they could get a vehicle uh, a couple dealerships over, you might be able to get that in a few days. So that is a great way to go. But also, you could do your own work. You could go online, online, internet. Dude, it's the greatest tool of all time. You don't have to buy from the dealership down the street anymore. Like I said, here in New Jersey, we have no 2021 Tundras right now. Um, they're on their way, but I could go buy a vehicle from Texas right now and have it shipped to me. It's totally not what it used to be. Everything is a lot easier now. Uh, these dealerships all over the country do it all the time. 
So it is definitely something to consider. Nightshade Edition Tundras, I don't know how many there will be um, floating around the country, and I don't know how many they will sell. I will tell you this, Hector from Fred Haas, who sent me the pictures of the Nightshade, sent me those pictures yesterday, and they're gone. The truck's gone already. People are buying Tundras right now. People are buying trucks right now, but Tundras are flying. So if you see something you like, um, I would make sure the wife gives you the go ahead before you even go start looking. So in case you see something, you jump right on it. I was going to make a video the other day there at the dealership that I always do my uh, walks at. There was a 2020 TRD Pro 4Runner Army Green. I never saw one of those in person, so I was going to make the video. Saw it on Saturday. It was gone when I went to make the video on Sunday. So if you see something you like, make sure uh, you know you you jump on that and talk to your dealer and get yourself into something you want. But overall, the point of the video, 2021s. A lot of people ask me all the time through emails and everything. I'm not seeing any 2021s. Where are they? They're usually on the lot by now. They are coming. They are coming. They are. It's again one more time. It's either like me zero up here or almost 30 in some dealerships. So you just got to look all over the country. You can go state by state. And if you break it down, you know, locate dealer, you will see every single dealer in every single state. If you have the time and you want to do the research and get the best price, go check them out and find them. They're going to be a lot in Texas and they're going to start funneling up through the United States and into Canada. Now, one more thing I wanted to talk to you about before I let you go. Uh, the incentives are out for September. 2021 doesn't really have any incentives yet. Um, you have your, you know, military rebates and your loyalty offer, things like that. Um, but as far as like APRs and cash back, the 2020s, 1.9% for up to 60 months and 2.9% for 72 months. And there's also a $2,500 cash back offer. So 2020s are still all over these lots. So if you want to get out there and get something, uh, those are pretty good APRs. So uh, let me know what you think. And also, never just go off the APRs. Check your local specials. Uh, a lot of these dealers with these 2021s, a matter of days away in some cases, Really got to get rid of these 2020s so you may be able to get that great deal. So you got to do me a favor and you got to go down in the comments below and let me know if you get yourself a great deal on a 2020 or 2021. I totally want to see your truck no matter what you end up with. And uh, make sure you shop around and make a smart decision. Like I said, a lot of these dealers are here to work with you. And we're now starting to see the higher end 2021s coming out. Like I said, Lunar Rock has been spotted and the Nightshade is down in Houston. And you know there's more than just one of each of those. I'm sure there's a few trail editions. And like I said, if you see anything, send me some pictures. Take some pictures yourself and send them to me and I will definitely make a video on it. Um, in closing, don't forget to add yourself, td34contest at gmail.com, a picture of you with your truck, your name, and where you're from. So you could be in this massive video of all of the followers. All you have to do is be subscribed. And if you are new, welcome aboard. So I always like to feature a video or playlist at the end of my video. So today, today is an easy one. We are going to do the playlist 2021 Tundra to get you caught up on everything that's coming. We're also going to do the next generation Tundra playlist, which I usually do at the end of all of mine because everyone wants to see what is coming. The all new Tundra in 2022. We are one model year away. So check out 2021 and then check out the next generation. Once again, don't forget, 5.7 liter V8 is going away. There will not be a V8 in the Tundra going forward after 2021. So if you're into the V8, make sure you get yourself one before they go away. Until next time, have a great day. Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook at TundraDude34, TundraDude34 gmail.com. I will talk to you soon. Be well.